Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to do a formula in Excel. Uh, I've got a, a spreadsheet started up here and it's just a, um, a, uh, an accounting type of spreadsheet. It's got several accounts and then it's got uh, receipts and expenditures. So you would have created this by just entering in cell by cell the, the information. And um, what we're going to do first is we're going to use a formula uh, if we have receipts and expenditures, we want to know what the net is. We want to know if we're making money. So to create any formula, the first thing you do is click on the cell where you want the result of the formula to appear. And you always start by typing the equal sign. The equal sign is, um, tells Excel that you're about to enter in a formula. Uh, from then on, um, you can do very simple things just the same as you would do on a calculator, and that's what we're going to do at first here. We, we have equals, and then we want to, uh, the, the net would be the receipts minus the expenditures. So we could um, type in, uh, sell, we could type in B2, which means we want to take B2, and then we, it, which is the cell that the receipts are in for account A, minus C2, and then we type return, and there's our result minus 3431. We didn't do very well in that account. There's actually a simpler way of doing this where you don't have to type in the cell references. We'll, again, we'll do that on the next line. We type in equals and instead of typing in B2, we just click on the cell. So we come over here and we click on cell, I'm sorry, now it's B3, and then we type a minus sign and then we click on cell C3 and then hit a return. Um, you can see that's much quicker. You don't, when you do a cell entry, that uh, formula entry that way, you never have to worry about what cell it is. You just look and find it and click on it. So we'll do the same thing for the, the for account C equals, click over here, minus, click over here, and there we go. We, we made a little money on that one, not as much as we made on B2. Now, let me show you a way you can quickly enter in all of the rest of them without tediously entering in the formula each time. It's uh, if you have everything in, arranged in rows, in columns like this, and, no, and most importantly, no spaces between the rows. When you create an Excel spreadsheet, you almost never need to put a space um, unless you have separate tables that you want to separate by a space just so it looks nice. But if it's all in one table, you want to have every line have, have, this, have information in it. So we click on this, we click on the cell above it, and we want to copy that formula down to all of the other cells in column D. It's very simple. All you do is take your cursor and go to the bottom right. Let me just scroll in so you can see what I'm doing. You go to the bottom right of that cell and you'll see the cursor change from an open plus to a solid plus. Let me do that again. Open plus to a solid plus. And when it's at that point, just go double click and presto, it, it, um, it fills in the rest of the columns with the same formulas, but it and it knows enough to know that when it um, fills in the formula, each cell, the, the formula in each cell, the um, does the calculations on the appropriate row. So I hope this has been useful. My name is Ted, and today I showed you how to put a formula in Excel. Thank you for watching.